Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how I make stickers in Cricut Design Space. If you like to have the stickers that I'm going to share or any of my projects, check the description right under this video. You'll find links to my Facebook groups. That's where I share my projects. These are the stickers I was working on and I showed them in the craft group and when I did I had several requests. Could I show how I'm making these stickers? A lot of people wanted to learn how. So I'm making this video for you. It's really a simple process and I'll show you exactly how I do it. For now I'm just going to group this and hide it. We don't need that right away. So the first thing I do is take a shape, a square, and we know that in design space our print and cut has a limit of 6.75 by 9.25. So I'm going to make myself that shape so that when I save my stickers I'm within the boundaries of what I can use for print and cut. So I'm just using this color as a background so that you'll be able to see the offset that I use. I'm also going to change my screen colors. Down here on my layers panel, I click on blank canvas and go up to the top and click on color and I'll make it purple so things show up really well. So another thing that I do is to grab another square. Let's say um, in this case I'm making my stickers one and a half inches. I'm going to make that square one and a half inches. So for each sticker I can just place it and use this as a guideline. I'll show you what I mean. I do this instead of having to type in the size of each sticker. So I want to be pretty consistent around one and a half inches. Of course you can make them any size you want but this is my little guideline. So let's go to images. I'm going to choose Happy Halloween. And we'll just grab a few images to work with. I'll select this one, it's cute. And maybe this black cat, I'm not sure if I did that one already. And here's one. I want to make sure, and this one, there we go. They're going to come onto the screen really large. They're big, so we're just going to shrink this down. I don't want to make it too small because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So let's take this one. You can see a part of it already has an offset, um, but there are pieces that would cut separately. You don't want your stickers to be all little bits. You want them to be solid. So that's the great part of having offset. So you can do your offset any size you want. I like to go 0 0.05 or 0 0.075, anything around there. So I'm going to do in this case 0 0.075. That looks like a good size and I'll apply. I like that. But I wanted to show you, see all these little holes? We don't want all these little holes. That won't make for a nice sticker. So I'm just going to select the offset, click on contour and hide all contours. And now we have a solid shape. We'll put back our image, select both together, align, and center. So I can see this offset in my layers panel. I'm going to select it, and I like to make my background white. I've got both of those ready. Select both and flatten, and that's really cute. So all I'm going to do now is take it up to my little guide for the size that I want. That's a nice size. Maybe I'll drag it out a little 
It doesn't have to be exactly an inch and a half. That's why I'm using a guide instead of typing in numbers. And that's cute. That's how I want it. So let's make another one. I'll use this graphic. I'm going to offset. And you can see that the offset has saved the last size I used. So I'm going to apply that again. I'm going to offset on my layers panel. Click on contour. And I'm going to hide all contours so that I have a solid shape behind. I'm going to change my offset to white. Very cute. Select all together and flatten. And I'll take it up and resize it. That's about the size I want. And we'll continue like that all the way through. So go to offset. My size is saved. Click apply. Offset on my layers panel. Contour. Hide all contours so we have a solid background. Go to my color and change my background to white. Select both together and flatten and then I'll just drag it up to my guideline and that's about the size I want. So then all you're going to do as you make them is arrange them so that you know they're going to be perfect when you go to print and cut. Let's make one more. I love making these, they're so fun. 0 0.75 is saved in offset, apply. Again, I have a lot of holes in the background, so I'm just going to go to contour, hide all contours and get a solid background, change it to white, select both together, select both together and flatten. And we'll take it up to my guideline or my marker Maybe I'll make it that wide and stretch it out a little. That's cute. And save it. So let's remove this. And to finish, I wanted to show you something. So I'll go back to that first group that I already had and I'll unhide it. So once you've got all your stickers made and you've got them laid out in your 6.75 by 9.25 template, you know that's perfect. I'm going to ungroup this. You're going to take away that background that you were using as a guide. Select all of these together and attach so that when they go to print, they line up exactly like this. It's perfect for um, print and cut and you're not going to have them separating on different sheets or they're going to stay exactly like this. So then I would just delete my background and click make it. And you can see that everything lines up perfectly on my mat. So I'm ready to print and cut. A lot of people also have asked what material I like to use. My favorite is Cricut printable vinyl. I really like it for stickers, but there's also Cricut sticker paper, which is a little thicker. It's more like cardstock. Cricut clear sticker paper, that's also really cute. And now we have the smart paper that you can use also. I hope this video is going to be helpful for you. I love making stickers. They're really fun to do for your planners or to seal your envelopes or seal your gift boxes. Really fun. If you've enjoyed this video, Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And once again, if you'd like to join my Facebook groups, you'll find links to them in the description right under this video. Thank you for watching.